Ce mama è chi c'è? Ma le tossi, ma te chi c'è? Bule baba chi c'è? We'll continue with chapter 25 from book 9 of Sri Devi Bhagavatam. Narada said, when the Devi Tulsi has been made so dear to Narayana and thus an object for worship, then describe her worship and her stotra, her hymns. Now, O Muni, by whom was she first worshipped? By whom were her glories first sung? And bow did she be, how did she become, therefore, an object of worship? Speak out all these to me. Narayana, laughing, began to describe this very holy and sin-destroying account of Tulsi. Narayana said, Bhagavan Hari, duly worshipped Tulsi and began to enjoy her with Lakshmi. He raised Tulsi to the rank of Lakshmi and thus made her fortunate and glorious. Lakshmi and Ganga allowed and bore this new union of Narayana and Tulsi. But Saraswati could not endure this height high position of Tulsi owing to her anger. She became self-conceited and beat Tulsi on some quarrel before Hardy. Tulsi became abashed and insulted and vanished off. Being the Ishvara of the cities, the Devi, the self-manifest and the giver of the Siddha yogis to the Yamins, Tulsi, oh, what wonder, became angry and turned out and invisible to even Sri Vishnu. Now seeing Tulsi, Vishnu appeared, appeased Saraswati and getting her permission went to the Tulsi forest. Going there and taking a bath in due accord and with due rites worshipped with his whole heart the chaste Tulsi and they did, then they began to meditate on her with devotion. O Narada, he gets certainly all cities who worships Tulsi duly with the ten lettered mantra Om Shri Hari Klim Aim Vrindavanya Swaha. The king of mantras yielding fruits and all gratifications like the kapha tree. O Narada, at the time of worship, the lamp of Ghi was lit, and Dupa, Sindur, Sando offered offerings of food, flowers, etc. were offered to her. Thus hymned by Vishnu, Tulsi came out of the tree, pleased, and she gladly took refuge at his lotus feet. Vishnu then grounded her boon that you will be worshipped by all. I will keep you in my breast and in my heart, and the devas also will hold you on their heads. And he then took her to his own abode. Narada said, O oh, highly fortunate one, what is Tulsi's? Dion, Stroja, and method of worship, kindly tell me all these. Narayana said, when Tulsi vanished, Vishnu became very much agitated at her bereavement and went to Vrindavana and began to praise her. The Bhagavan said, the Tulsi trees collect in multitudinous groups, hence the pundits call it Vrinda. I praise thee, dear Tulsi. Oh, of old, she appeared in the Vrindavana forest, and therefore known as Vrindavani, I worship that fortunate and glorious one. She is worshipped always in innumerable universes, and is therefore known as Vishva Kuchita, worship by all. I worship that Vishnu Kuchita, by whose contact these countless universes are always rendered pure and holy, and therefore she is called Vishva Bhavani, purifying the whole universe. I am suffering from her bereavement. I remember the Devi. Without Tulsi, the Devas do not give leaves, though other flowers be heaped on them. Therefore, she is considered as the essence of all the flowers. Now I am in sorrow and trouble, and I am very eager to see her, who is the nature of purity incarnate. The whole universe gets delighted when the bhaktas receive her, hence she is called Nandini, so may she be pleased with me. There is nothing in the universe that can be compared to her, hence she is called Tulsi. I take refuge of that dear Tulsi, that chaste dear one, 
is the life of Krishna, and she is known as Krishna Jivani. Now may she save my life. O Narada, thus praising, Ramapati remained there. The chaste Tulsi then came to his sight and bowed down to his lotus feet. When she, becoming sensitive out of the insult, began to weep, Bhagavan Vishnu, seeing that sensitive dear one, immediately took her to his breast. Taking then Saraswati's permission, he took her to his own house and brought about, first of all, the agreement between her and Saraswati. Then he granted her the boon. You will be worshipped by all, respected by all, and honored by all, and all will, all will wear you on their heads. I will also worship, respect, and honor you, and keep you on my head. Receiving this boon from Vishnu, the Devi Tulsi became very glad. Saraswati then attracted her to her side and made her sit close to her. Lakshmi and Ganga both, with smiling faces, attracted her and made her enter into the house. O Narada, whosoever worships her with eight names, Brinda, Brindavani, Vishva Pujita, Vishva Pavani, Tulsi, Pushpa Sara Nandini, and Krishna Jivani, and their meanings and sings this hymn of eight verses duly, acquires the merit of performing many Ashvinas Yaga, especially on the full moon night of the month of Kartik, the auspicious birth ceremony of Tulsi is performed. Of old, Vishnu worshipped her at that time. When whoever worships with devotion on the full moon combination, the universe purifying Tulsi becomes freed of all sins and goes up to the Vishnu Loka. Offerings to Tulsi leaves, offering to Tulsi leaves to, because Tulsi leaves to Vishnu in the month of Kartik brings merit equal to those in giving away Ayuta's cows. Hearing this throughout the period gives sons to the sonless persons, wives to the to the wifeless persons and friends to the friendless person. On hearing the strota, the diseases become the diseased become free of their diseases, the persons in bondage become free, the terrified become fearless, and the sinners are free of their sins. O Narada, thus it has been mentioned how to chant strota to her. Now hear her dhyan and method of worship. In the Vedas, in the Kanda Saka branch, the method of worship is given. You know that one is to meditate on the Tulsi plant without any invocation, and then worship her with devotion, presenting all sorts of offerings as required to her. Now hear, hear her dhyan hymn. Of all the flowers, Tulsi, the holy basil, is the best, holy and captivating the mind. It is a flame burning away all the fuels of sins committed by man. In the Vedas, it is stated that this plant is called Tulsi because there can be made no comparison with her amongst all the flowers. She is the holiest of them all. She is placed on the heads of all and desired by all and gives holiness to the universe. She gives Jivan Mukti, Mukti and devotion to Sri Vishnu. I worship her. Thus meditating on her and worshiping her according to due rites, one is to bow down to her, O Narada. I have described to you in full the history of Sri Tulsi Devi. What more do you want to hear now? Here ends the 25th chapter of the ninth book of the method of worship of Tulsi Devi in the Mahapurana Sriman Devi Bhagavatam of 18,000 verses by Maharishi Veda Vyasa. Jai Mahamaya Ki Jai Vishveshvari Mante Ki Jai Bhule Baba Ki Jai.